Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And today we're gonna be going out and checking out what Rux has for us today in Rux's Bazaar. This is the only Rux this month, the first time in a while we've only had one Rux, and it looks like we have a few interesting items, but the most important thing is the legendary DJ uplink for 25,000 coins, a zombie consumable, of course, and this is our first ever, and for me at least, legendary zombie bot. Now, whichever bot or plant pot you get that's legendary is usually random, but if you guys don't know we've already shown off the two plant pots that are legendary the legendary mong choy plant pot and the legendary perfume shroom plant pot i'll link those at the end of the video if you want to go ahead and check those out and then we have a classic item a special item and then two more classic items i like the you know the uh taunts everything else i'm not super crazy about it's not the strongest ruxus bazaar we've ever had but i'm still glad to see that we have something you know so we're gonna go ahead and buy whatever i can afford which is most most of this stuff yeah i can i can afford all of it so that's good wasn't even like 500,000 coins in total. Sort of is a little disappointing that that's all we're getting this month. Like I said, it's the only Rux this month. But we're going to go ahead and some solo play and check out that legendary DJ uplink. Okay, so we got to start things off on the zombie side because we're going to have to actually spawn it in. But yeah, we are in a solo round of Gnome Bombs. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a zombie bot spawner like this one right here. Just sort of see what I can do with it. So first off, let's go ahead. Do we have an uplink bot? Like normally, because if we go down here, where is the legendary? The legendary DJ uplink. Of course, we have ten of them. I'll be try to. I'll try to be a bit frugal with them. That's the normal one. Where is the other? Where's the actual uplink bot then? It is here. Okay then. Yeah, it sort of looks a good bit different. But we have seventeen of these, and obviously they are the same thing except for the description. Well, I mean, I think. For the most part, we're about to find out today. Uplink bots here to call for backup, exploding sky laser backup. Uh, better, faster, stronger DJ uplink has been upgraded to party harder. So let's first off spawn in Yoon, right here. And we're gonna go ahead and find out how much damage he does normally and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and figure that out. I'll switch to the pea shooter. We're on normal difficulty gnome bomb. So yeah, we're gonna find out you know how much damage this guy does and everything. Let's see how that works out, but I have 125 health as his pea shooter, so we'll see how much we lose when he attacks us, we'll see how much damage he takes, all that kind of stuff, and see if he is better, because it's sort of hard to tell sometimes, like, from what I deemed with, like, the perfume shroom, it seemed like it was the same, it was really hard to tell if there was a difference, but with, like, the monk choy, it seemed like there was, so from over in this distance, how much damage are you gonna do? Ooh, a decent amount, that was... 25 plus 17 is uh, 30 to 42 damage. So if I'm this close, so, and of course, there we go. So that was about the same right there. I think about 42. And if I get like really close to him, I don't think it'll change too much because of course his damage is mostly the same. So let me go ahead. That took a couple shots there. I was at 25 when I found out. So that took about 10 shots. So we'll take a little bit less than 10 shots to take him out. So why don't we go ahead and switch teams again and we'll find out if, um. Mr. Legendary DJ Uplink is any better. So let's go ahead and do it as this guy so I can get the extra tiny bit of experience. So what else is going on this Thursday? Isn't a huge ton. First off, we have Cats vs. Dinos back again. That's not a huge surprise. There's actually nothing different about it. Like in the past, we have seen Super Speed Cats vs. Dinos, and I really liked that, and I was hoping that we'd see more mix-up like that, but unfortunately, it's just normal uh, Cats vs. Dinos. This looks really cool, though. So he has all of these, like, mixed tapes on the side of him and speakers. He's got some cool headphones and the disco head and the, you know, the fancy shades. It's a really cool uh, legendary so far. I think I like this more than the other legendary zombie bot, which I don't have unlocked, but I've seen pictures of it. And of course I've played with people who have had it. I think that one's just a golden Gatling bot. So I like this one better, I think. So it's still pretty cool, you know, that we got this one, but I only have one more to show off and that is that fourth one. So hopefully we can get that soon. I mean, I, st I think it sort of stinks that this is all we're getting this month in terms of rocks, but, you know, hopefully this upcoming, you know, holiday event. So let me stand here again. Last time we did this, it, it brought me down to, like, what, 85? 69 this time. So that was definitely better. You know, if I go up, like, right next to you, and also his shot is, like, a little bit more rainbow colored. Oh, it definitely is. It's definitely doing more damage. Oh, look at that, and that definitely took, I think, four or five more shots to take him out. So you can definitely tell the uplink bond, or the legendary DJ uplink bond, does a lot better. So this one, guaranteed, does more. You know, like, through the same circumstances, we were receiving more damage, and it took more damage to take him out at what should have been the same distance, or just about the same distance. So that's very good to see. 
Um, but beyond that, before we um, exit out of here, I do just want to say that there is a brand new balance patch out today as well. They buffed a few characters, they nerfed a few characters, so make sure you go ahead and check out the official PVZGW2.com website to see what they've changed. Um, let me know if there's any specific changed character you'd like me to cover. I know Toxic, not Toxic Chomper got changed a lot, so if you guys want to see me make like a revisited video on Toxic Chomper or any of the other changed characters, let me know in the comments section, but also let me know what legendary plant pot or zombie bot you got today as well but i figured i don't want today's episode to be super duper short we have 27 rainbow stars that i forgot to spend last week so i figured i would end today's video by spending those so yeah, let's get our butts up here and find out what kind of cool stuff we can get we only have 27 stars so i guess we can only get one of them which is better than nothing right so we'll go ahead and open that up and i'll try to play some cash versus dinos on my own time sometime uh this week or the next couple days and hopefully we can get more rainbow stars so we can open those up at the end of more episodes but yeah i don't plan on making any videos on this week's cats versus dinos just because there really isn't too any you know, like anything too crazy about it. we got the board game set which is actually pretty cool oh i like that it's like a little monopoly now we definitely need a few more sets in our a few more pieces than that so i think that's only our second out of four or five but I think that's where we're going to be finishing it off for today. Make sure you let me know the answers to some of the questions I asked earlier in today's video. If you want me to show off any of the changed characters. And also, what are your thoughts on the DJ Uplink Legendary Bond. And which Legendary Plant Potter Zombie Bot did you get today. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like. Share with your friends and family. And of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment DJ Zebra. So I you've watched in the video. And that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.